Hello my lovely fart faces. Today we're going to be unboxing the smallest diamond painting I've ever seen in my whole entire life up close. Well, I am going to be seeing. This is a Riolis diamond painting. It is from 123stitch.com, which is a cross stitch yarn or floss, whatever type website where they sell cross stitch stuff, but I accidentally ordered this. <laughs> it's funny because I wanted this as a cross stitch kit and I ordered this by accident. So I was like, well, whatever, it's a diamond painting. I'm not gonna complain. It's kind of dusty because it's been sitting on my desk for a while, but it is called City and Cats and it is created by Galena Skabiva. And then everything should be included with this. It's gonna be 13 colors and it is by this company, Riolis.com. And I believe they primarily manufacture cross stitch kits, like licensed cross stitch kits. Uh, I can't be sure, but it's not a common diamond painting company that you'll see a lot. So I was like, well, I might as well review it because I've never seen a kit reviewed by them. Oh, and it comes with like in a very official seal, a very official metallic seal. So let's break into this baby and use my crooked, my crooked tweezers to open this up. Break the seal. Oh yeah, fresh. It's a fresh diamond painting. Actually, not really. It's been sitting on my desk like I mentioned, but we can pretend. If you're new here and you like diamond painting though, go ahead and click the subscribe button. I post new videos whenever I feel like it and I'd love to have you as part of my hive. Let's open it up and see how this baby comes. So first of all, we have our drills. Here are, oh, here are our drills. Here is the, okay. So I'm guessing this is DMC. Here's the symbol and here's the number of the color. Let's open this up first because I want to see what's in here. Mm. Oh, it looks like it's a square diamond painting. I had no idea it's square. So it's a square diamond painting. Here are some useful tweezers. I'm actually going to keep these for other things. This is our diamond painting kit. Um, it comes with baggies. That's useful. A pen with a three-placer a diamond tray in case you don't like using normal trays I guess and then a green diamond painting tray a squishy for your fingers and a plate of wax so that's pretty decent kit it's kind of neat that it came with this I will use this for other crafts then here are our drills and this is a square kit so I don't know what the quality of these squares are from the naked eye, they do look like they would be good. Like I'm not seeing any trash or like tabs or anything, but I can't say, cause I'm not an expert. I don't know if they're acrylic or resin squares. This kit was like really cheap and it is, I think this kit is actually on sale right now for like 13, $14 US. So if you like this kit, it might be good if you have a friend who's a beginner or something like that, um, this might be a good gift for them. Then we have our our um, part of the box here. We have our diamond painting, which kind of looks kind of squished. It kind of looks like a joint. I don't, I don't know. Does it look like a joint? Looks like a blunt, whatever. Let's open this up. It's very, it's very taped up. Urgh. Don't mind my hands, I dinged my, ow! I dinged my hands yesterday carrying boxes. That is my issue and my hands are very dry and I didn't do my nails, disclaimer. I should have put a warning in this video, warning, Bev's hands are dry and disgusting. But, okay, so it's a poured glue canvas. Oh, that's cute, okay, and what's this? Before we open that up, let's take a look at this. Some French instructions, Spanish instructions. Uh, I don't know what language that is, English. A rhinestone painting in diamond mosaic tech. Please read the manual to avoid mistakes, exclamation mark. Okay, well, it's basically, if you wanna read it here, 
you can read it. Um, I'm not going to read it. It's kind of interesting. The instructions are very interesting. I'm going to roll this backwards because it is a poured glue canvas. We can do that and it's kind of all wrinkly. This is a very small diamond painting. So here is our canvas. It measures 20 centimeters by 20 centimeters and I don't have a ruler so I can't tell you if it's 20 centimeters for the whole the whole canvas itself or just the drill field. Okay, so here are the symbols. And it looks like A04 might be kind of difficult to read. But it's interesting because I don't see this a lot on diamond paintings. It's interesting that like the symbol for some colors is just literally the color with no symbol inside of it. We'll take a look at the drill field. I love the two black cats. If you didn't know, I have two black cats, which is why I wanted this as a cross stitch, but I will do it as a diamond painting. Why not? So where's that O symbol? Okay, so first of all, look at this O symbol here. Hopefully my camera is focusing, but if you look at this symbol here, it is very hard to see but it doesn't look like there's another color that is very similar to it, but it is very difficult to see the O. Um, other than that, I would say it's pretty good. Like no other issues on the drill field, except for just that, this O, this O symbol, which is kind of annoying, but I mean, it's such a small canvas, does it even matter? Does it? I don't know. So that is our canvas. What do you guys think of this diamond painting? It's just a small little baby. I like it because I feel like this is going to take, I don't know, like an hour to do, less than an hour maybe. And it's a good, like I said earlier, it's a good starter kit for someone even though the symbols are kind of, like, that's disappointing about the O symbols. Like, maybe they should have made the O in black instead of white on this color. But, um, yeah, I, I like this. It's pretty much, it's very pixelated, but, I mean, it's a cross-stitch. It's originally a cross-stitch pattern, I believe, that they turned into a diamond painting. And, again, 20 by 20, which is 7 through 3 quarters of an inch, whatever, however you say inches. I don't know inches. And... It's a square diamond painting. So I think this one might be fun to work on if you need a break from the big diamond paintings. I don't know how the squares will lay down, like if they're going to be popping or anything like that, because I've never done a kit from them. Uh, if you're new to squares, this might be an ideal canvas for you. But I figured I would do this unboxing and just show you guys what you can expect if you do want to order like a smaller canvas. Um, again, this is like on sale for 13 USD on 123stitch.com. I'll put a link in the description box directly to this. And thank you guys so much for watching my video. If you have any questions about this, feel free to comment down below and let, let, like, let me know what you think of this. Let me know what you think of the size. Um, is this small size something that you'd be interested in doing? Because I know a lot of us do... Uh, 30 by 40s, but this is like way smaller than 30 by 40, obviously. Um, so yeah, let me know down below what you think of this. If you're new here, go ahead and click the subscribe button. I'd love to have you as part of my hive. And tomorrow I will be going live at 6 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, 8 p.m. Eastern. You'll want to join me because I'm going to be doing a giveaway or more than one giveaway. I haven't decided yet. Thanks, guys. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!